Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Correspondences for Work and Magic on Tuesday, the 31st of August, 2021. Well, favorability is neutral today on this Mars day. Uh, passion, manifestation, creativity, self-assertion, and reducing conflict are among the things that you can focus on today. Um, let's see, elements fire, colors red, uh, you can use some amethyst, bloodstone, lodestone, jasper, or diamond on the altar. Uh, you could burn some sandalwood, juniper, or dragon's blood in the cauldron. Um, you could you could drop some uh, oh some basil on there. Let's see what else could we put on there. Maybe some nettle. You could include some wormwood on the altar. Uh, the day it's, it itself is a four energy, and so we're talking structure and foundation, boundaries and grounding. Elemental air is strongest with earth next. Fire is really not having any effect, though, so, you know, I'm not sure what impact that will have. You might have to, I mean, it, help, it might help in reducing some conflict, which is what I'm going to talk about, so that might also be a benefit. Um, but regarding the... Uh, uh, rune divination that I want you to refer to, that's Hagalaz, Ingus, and Lagos. And I just want to show you Hagalaz is the witch rune. It's also the Narn rune of the past. Destruction within a fixed framework. Uh, Ingus is the seed or the sudden release of energy. Uh, and then Lagos, of course, is the uh, uh, its flow, flowing in spirit, flowing in harmony, drawing spirit into your awareness. Um, but it basically signals that a restructuring might be needed in some area, uh, possibly involving perception of self or and or others. Uh, the change experience will likely be sudden in nature, uh, while uh, Laguz is essentially telling us to go with the flow and practice non-resistance or at least observe the situation as it unfolds, you know, without really becoming involved in it. Um, but re regarding the, the uh, recommendation... There's actually an alignment between today's rune divination with yesterday's reading from Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune, and I've linked to that in the Patreon post. Uh, basically, everything refers to the Patreon post, whether it's the big forecast over at Stepping Aside or called the forecast, uh, or the medium post. I put one over there, too, and I link to this, to the Patreon page that has all, has the, the big stuff in it, basically, all of it. Uh, let's see. Um it's not that there was uh, one of the runes happened yet that I pulled one because I pulled to gauze yesterday in the reading. It's just that there is a shift in perception that's happening over the beginning Monday through Wednesday and, and maybe all week long, depending on what Thursday's reading, if it supports it or we shift into something else. Uh, last week, it was just all, you know, the same stuff all week long with, with a bunch of major arcana cards influencing. Um, but but basically, this is perception, and so I think what today's rune divination is telling us is kind of how that's going to happen, maybe. And so, um, so if you want to refer to that, if you didn't see it already, just to, as a refresher, you can look at that and listen to that. But you'll want to refer to today's rune divination for the underlying energies at work <clears throat> and craft a working that manifests a shift in perception or behavior while managing, still managing conflict. I, I know, lots of things to do. Either create a bind rune to use as a focus from the, uh, uh, from the rune divination, or, uh, and I tried doing that, but I just couldn't find a way to do this with Hagalaz as the outside structure of it. Maybe using Ingus as the outside structure might be better, and then put the Hagalaz and, and uh, uh, Lagus inside that maybe, but you can the only the other thing you can do is just carry lagus with you, you know, and and focus on that and keep it with you uh, to try to keep things flowing and keep yourself in some higher vibration that observes instead of get gets into it with people. Because I mean, if you go to the grocery store like we did yesterday, a third of the people, not the staff, but a third of the people that were there were not in masks. We're double masked, right? And we're about to start wearing latex gloves again. But you know, it's like. <laughs> you know, you want to scream at people, but you can't, right? It's, you can't. Even though you want to, you can't. You, you, you want to give them looks like, what are you doing? But, but you can't, right? You just can't. It's not safe to do that now. So, and maybe ever, I don't know. But anyway, um, I think that uh, uh, you can use either the noon or sunset hours to work the spell 
Uh, and remember, those hours, noon, involves strength, opportunity, success, protection, and wealth. Sunset involves letting go and release. You know, so you can kind of see how both might be involved there. Um, also, uh, you know, work the spell in the hour of Mars that's in your location. And again, I've linked to that geo site that shows that. And all you have to do up at the top is put your city and state in, and then the, the chart will actually be accurate for you. Our, mine is accurate for Portland. And so Portland, Oregon. So just to give a general one uh, uh, in, in that in that side of the world, uh, I'm a little I'm a little uh, east of that, but but that's okay. I would change it for my own. Uh, but Portland will work uh, if you're on the West Coast. Otherwise, just put your own city and state in there, and you'll get the accurate one. Um, so the planetary seal for Mars may helpful may be helpful to suppress conflict, and I've included that on the Patreon page. What that looks like, you can draw that out, or if you already have it, sometimes it's nice to just uh, do them in a uh, go ahead and wood burn them onto to something, a piece of wood that, uh, or draw them, have them ready for your your working. But it's also nice to do it within the working itself. Um, but that can but the seals are going to stop things where the squares invoke and so we would use a seal to to tamp down any conflict here as the perceptions are shifting because that can be a difficult moment for people um essentially the purpose of the working is to keep your own awareness higher than what may be stimulating the sudden change that's experienced so that an egoic response is avoided again you know a third of the people there we had no masks on at all and then some of them were parents and children it's like oh my god right under 12 right who can't get the vaccine yet oh boy Anyway, although you can use a red candle to ignite the manifestation energy, a pink candle can also be used to reduce that energy before it overshadows the flow you need to remain in. And you can use two candles. You can do a red one and a pink one if you want to, uh, or a green one or whatever, uh, and move the energy from one to the other with the seal maybe in the middle. Um, you, you could do it that way. Uh, or, you know, however you want to do it, that's just an idea. A white candle can be substitute for the pink if you don't have one. Um, and moving from one state to another, you could use black and white. Uh, although black, I, I like to just use pretty much all the time because of I'm in the crone phase of life. And so it's it's uh, it's more uh, goddess energy. It's more energy from the void of creation. So, I mean, it's, to me, it's just... I, I don't know. It's a no brainer. I just use black all the time, but, but, uh, but not always. I mean, I, 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 I do have other, I, I do use other stuff. So anyway, that aside, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyhow, but the idea here is here is to, again, to reduce the Mars effect on the situation. That's why the planetary seal uh, may be helpful. And also a review of today's retrograde planets may also be useful um, again, when you look at that retrograde stuff, you're looking at the inner work we all need to do, basically. So an example, Jupiter's currently in retrograde. So whereas Jupiter would be expansive stuff, here we're talking about reevaluating that within, how we express those kinds of Jupiter energies. Uh, social justice is one that's real strong right now. And we're all having to reevaluate what that looks like. And some people are just, you know circling the drain with it as far as I'm concerned. So that's kind of the energy that we're wanting to shift so that people can begin to live in truth. Um, I was thinking about it yesterday. It's like when I was in the store, it's like me, Mary, my wearing a mask does not harm anyone. Whereas someone else not wearing a mask could harm everyone, right? Think about it that way. Um, this is about the greater good. This is about doing for others even if you don't feel like it, even if you feel like, yeah, I don't think I have to do that. Well, yeah, you do, especially if your state requires it, see? So again, let's all get on the same page. And that's kind of what I think that these, these uh, uh, energies have been showing us. So um, again, uh, if you want to see the whole thing, that's over on Patreon. If you're not a, if you're not a, a member of my page, it costs a dollar a month to join, $12 a year. So if you want to look at all that, you can. Otherwise, um, it, you know, you've got some general information on the forecast over at Stepping Aside, which is my blog, and then also one on, on Medium. Uh, but I do recommend uh, all of this on uh 
uh, Patreon so you've got something to refer to. And uh, I guess that's it. Um, have a good day. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. <laughs> wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask. And, and uh, blessed be.